Turkey, where history meets mystery, a virtual tour with Jim Willis and Dr. Mickey Pistorius. 12,000 years ago, why did hunter-gatherers wake up one morning and decide to completely upend their way of life? Now, how did they suddenly invent the methods needed to construct an edifice such as Gobekli Tepe? What is the meaning of the highly sophisticated carvings of animals and intricately placed cosmological alignments. Why did they ever decide to build such a thing? As of now, no one knows for sure. But that hasn't stopped people from speculating. Here, here are just a few of the theories relating to the discovery. When the site was first surveyed by a team of archaeologists from Istanbul, it was assumed to be nothing more than a cemetery, perhaps dating back to the Middle Ages. Well, this idea had to be updated in 1994. Klaus Schmidt, an archaeologist with the German Archaeological Institute, discovered T-shaped limestone pillars bearing artistic carvings of lions, bulls, spiders, scorpions, snakes, gazelles, and various enigmatic figures. It soon became obvious that he was dealing with something far more than significant than a, a simple cemetery. There's an old joke in archaeological circles that assumes any unrecognized, unknown, and mysterious artifact must have been used for ceremonial purposes. But in this case, Gobekli Tepe seems to fit the bill. It was certainly the opinion held by Klaus Schmidt. This is the first human-built holy place, he once said. Its proximity to biblical sites, including the mythical Garden of Eden and Mount Ararat, the supposed landing place for Noah's Ark, places it firmly in religious tradition. Predating the pyramids by a good 6,000 years, it stands solidly in a spiritual tradition that spans three great world religions. Gobekli Tepe seems to stand on holy ground. It doesn't seem probable that bands of subsistence hunter-gatherers could have developed the kind of social infrastructures needed to carry out this kind of advanced building without a, a powerful motivation. Religion would have fit this requirement. Gobekli Tepe also seems to demonstrate uncanny astronomical alignments. Some suggest it is aligned with the night sky, in particular the star Sirius. Local people revered that star system thousands of years later. Here's another nagging question. How did primitive hunter-gatherers in Anatolia suddenly develop the ability to undertake such a massive project. Perhaps they didn't invent the techniques. Perhaps they inherited them from a previous advanced civilization that flourished before the Younger Dryas comet obliterated its existence. If this is true, Gobekli Tepe can be seen as either the last temple of that civilization's religion, or the first temple of a new civilization's adoption of that religion. Now, this theory is challenged by those who are presently working at the site. They claim that Gobekli Tepe was not always open to the skies. It was once roofed. Now, that would eliminate any possibility of it serving as an observatory. If Gobekli Tepe was not primarily a temple or an observatory, might it have served as a seasonal gathering place similar to Stonehenge in England? It stands right at the northern apex of the Fertile Crescent, which stretches from Mesopotamia in the east to Egypt in the west. Was Gobekli Tepe where people gathered to compare notes or 
trade ideas, find mates for new generations of young people and integrate their developing cultures. Well, the newly discovered Tastepla, the Stone Hill sites, seems to point in this direction. Some of those sites are both secular and ceremonial. The questions continue. Was Gobekli Tepe deliberately buried? Well, what was its function? How does it fit into the complex arena of the Tastepla? What happened here around 12,000 years ago? And why? What kind of vision would have suddenly transformed hundreds, if not thousands, of isolated hunter-gatherers to coalesce in one spot in order to build such a place? Uh, this whole field of study is obviously still in its infancy. So perhaps the best course of action at this point is to simply stand in awe and wonder Something happened 12,000 years ago that changed the course of human history. That much is obvious. It is a great mystery. But such mysteries are what drive the whole field of archaeology. No one knows what will be unearthed when the next spade is plunged into the ground. <laughs> Meanwhile, all we can do is wait. <laughs>